It's Tuesday, the 4th of May. This is the news in 60 seconds. In today's newspapers, no car repair works in public parking lots or sidewalks, says the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Businesses that engage in car maintenance and repairs in cities and on commercial streets are prohibited from conducting their activities outside the areas defined in the license, including conducting business in parking lots, on sidewalks, in adjacent squares and in residential areas. Qatar's first laptop manufacturing facility to start production in August. The Qatar Free Zone Authority has announced the establishment of a state-of-the-art production facility in the Umm Alul Free Zone. Built by a partnership between iLife Digital, which is a leading intelligent robotics and electronics company based in Florida, and Prime Technologies, a subsidiary of Ali Bin Ali Holdings here in Qatar iLife and Prime Technologies will use the 2,500 square meter facility to create innovative iLife branded electronic devices, including laptops, PCs, smartwatches, and mobile phones, among others. Qatar Airways Cargo ships medical aid to India. Three Qatar Airways Cargo Boeing 777 freighters departed to India yesterday, carrying approximately 300 tons of medical supplies from around the world to support COVID-19 relief efforts. The three flights departing one after the other were bound for Bengaluru, Mumbai and New Delhi as part of the Qatar Airways Cargo's We Care, spelled with a Q, initiative. For all the information you need on Qatar, get Mahaba's amazing e-guides. They're completely free of charge and available on their website, www.mahaba.qa forward slash e-guides. Qatar's weather today. The Met Office have put out a warning that we can expect thundery rain with strong winds at times in some places around Qatar. But probably not Doha, according to the weather map. Doha will see temperatures between 27 and 33 degrees. Elsewhere in the country, it will be between 24 and 37 degrees. Now, today's COVID update. In the last 24-hour period, there have been 644 new cases of COVID-19 and 1,548 recoveries. Unfortunately, there were also eight COVID-related deaths. Which means for the 11th day running, there has been a decrease in active cases, today dropping by 912, giving us a new current total of 13,013 active cases. That's all for today. Please take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.